Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Essence of Shea here. I haven't been here in over a week and I just wanted to kind of like sit down and talk with you guys and like get my, do my makeup because I'm going to do a few more videos and just explain what has been going on and what I want to happen uh, with my channel for the month of May because it is um, my birthday month starting today um, today is May 1st so yeah um, before we get anything started don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure you guys are sharing the videos and make sure you're hitting those notification bells so you are up to date with me when I take <laughs> these breaks using this ambi fade cream just like on the dark areas of my face because all of these are like marks from like zits that i like messed with that i shouldn't have that weren't that big of a deal and because i sometimes wear fake it well like sometimes all the time wear fake earrings they're causing like black marks on my ears, so I kind of want to like start just all together take caring, taking care of myself because to be honest, I haven't been doing that, which is absurd. If I look like I'm not paying attention, I'm looking at the mirror, but I'm talking to y'all. Anyway, so... um number one reason why i haven't posted in a week or so is because i kind of just needed uh a break and this is with social media as well like i just needed some time to kind of like get my thoughts together figure stuff out figure ish out um, I also have some good things happening as well, but for the most part, I had, and I'm going to get personal with y'all, I, when the new year started, I had made a plan with God, and we just made like a deal. I told him, for the year of 2018, I'm going to be celibate and focus on just me and focus on like this is how I put it on and then I rub it in focus on just like taking care of Shay and like not making everybody else's problem my problem because I did that all the time like I'll make people's problems my problem and it just stressed me out and I always took care of others and people took care of me but I kind of felt like it wasn't on the same level like I was giving out all this energy and it, just, and it wasn't coming back it, it was just a lot so it kind of caught up to me um, because I started like because I also told I also not only just with sex I also said that like I would just be more conscious of what I say how I do things and just get back to the nice happy-go-lucky Shay. I will not like you know spaz out and just just do things I don't have to. I'm not gonna go into detail but just don't do certain things and um on some of those things I kind of did like slip up not kind of I did slip up on some of the things that me and the man upstairs had a discussion about um and I felt like certain things were happening like he was almost saying like yo you forgot the agreement we had like come on shorty we had an agreement and you're not you're not following through with it one of the things that did happen recently was my i had a a collision with my car i will post a picture somewhere and I've only had this car for about a, beat, a year. 
this is not my first car because when I was in Florida, when I used to live in Florida, I had a car. That's the only way you could get around. New York, you don't really need a car. But I felt like what I do for work and stuff, I needed a car. Uh, so I got a car. Instead of like borrowing other people's cars, I got a car. Anyways, uh, long story short, I got into a collision with this car. I've had this car for a year and I've never once gotten into uh, any kind of thing. Like somebody probably tapped my bumper or something. That's to be expected because people don't know how to park. But things like that. Nothing crazy. So that with a combination of other things like my finances looked a little off. Like it didn't the year it didn't start off like how it did in the beginning of the year like it was just weird like things just wasn't things just wasn't adding up so i just i had to sit down and reflect like yo what is going on cuz when you're going through stuff you really have to sit down and like try to figure out like what the freak is going on like why is this happening and you can't only just blame yourself because a lot of us that's what we sit down and do let's just keep it real when a lot of think bad things like pile and pile and pile and pile and pile you start blaming you start playing the victim like woe is me nobody loves me nobody cares da, da, da. but you really have to sit down and take sorry my chair you really have to sit down and take responsibility for like what's going on like sit down and realize like what have you done to cause this sometimes things are really out of your control like that my car accident but um other things that were going on like finances like i'm just spending i'm not thinking you know what i think like the money isn't coming in like it used to but i'm doing the same things you, you just have to just uh just evaluate yeah so that happened so I just had a bit of a I had a nervous breakdown I'll just be completely honest I had a nervous breakdown I do suffer with um you guys know this I suffer with depression and ex anxiety and um I just it was just a lot and then the tip of the iceberg was the um the accident so it was just I just didn't want to record and also on top of recording I was just realizing that look I'm a small youtuber um yes I have I think about 6,000 of you lovely subscribers and I love you guys to death you guys are my tiger lilies you guys know I love y'all to death but I also feel like um People who have, and this is something that I hear a lot, but it hadn't happened to me. So I was just like, yeah, that's kind of messed up. But I mean, what are you going to do? I kind of brushed it off until it started happening to me where I would post content because I try not to go like on other people's pages um, because I don't want to like almost like bite what they're doing. I just kind of want to just do my thing. So um, I usually look through my comments or like if you guys send me direct messages like I'll try to do videos based off of that because primarily this video is for you guys. These, this channel is for you guys. So whatever you guys want to see I'm going to post. Simple as that. You guys are my Tiger Lily squad like I got you. Right? But it's really unfortunate and a little annoying like a small YouTuber like me who has like 6,000 subscribers and I post videos and then a person who does the same like same thing like I do has the same channel like same concept um has like 20,000 or like 60,000 subscribers and turns around as soon as I post that video a couple days later or like a week later turns around and does the same video and not even try to change the title or anything and gets all these um likes and da 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 and da 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 and then gets more subscribers and it makes it seem as though 
And then if you continue to do more things like that, it makes it seem as though like the small YouTuber is biting off the big one. So then people will send me messages like, oh, such and such just did that. So yeah, um, uh, da da da, uh, but this is what they said. And the shit is annoying because first and foremost, this is my channel, mine. And what I think is what I think. Like, you guys come to my channel because you like my energy, you like my goofiness, you like that this is really personable, like, we talk and da-da-da, I keep it real. Because I say something and somebody else says something else does not even mean that what I'm saying has no factor. Like, what I'm saying is is non-existent or is whack because a person who has a bigger following said something completely different like our experiences are different it they are different and it's freaking annoying like they bite your style and then i'm sorry this but it is what it is they bite your style and then people come back to you uh kind of degrading your videos because a bigger youtuber did the same thing you did but you guys rock with him or her more than me. Like, it's just dumb. It's annoying. And then, last but not least, why I wasn't recording, um, uh, I was looking at, uh, the comments like I normally do, but you guys know I kind of am late with the comments sometimes. I don't mean to be. But like I will post and then I'll just leave it alone, let it soak in, and then I'll come and respond. So if I don't respond right away, don't think that I'm being disrespectful because I am going to respond. And I'm going to be much better at it because you guys deserve better from me because you guys rocked with me when nobody else is and was. So I'm going to get a little bit better with it. Okay, that's a promise. But someone um, on the uh, thing called me an ugly N-word. And I could be completely honest with you guys. It's bringing a... To some, that not might not mean much because in the community, black community, we don't use it as a negative thing. Like, this is just how we say, bro, sis, this is what we say. But when a, a person calls me a ugly monkey nigga, that's what they said, it kind of stings. Like, I'll just be honest. It's stung. And... I guess this is to be expected now when you have a bigger audience. So more people um, are watching you now, so... Things like this to, is to be expected. It's not right, but the, the people are out there are trolls. They have no life. I was upset more because I really haven't had, in all the years that I've been on this channel, I've had it, I've have not had any negative comments at all. And I, that was one thing that I could pride myself about because I never like put like a filter in my thing, which I'm going to do not offer that just one comment, but I've never had like anybody say any negative stuff. Like people like talk about things, like they don't agree with certain things I do, which is fine. I mean, like I said earlier, like I, this is my child, this is my experiences, but I'm not saying that you guys can't share like if you don't agree with me, that's fine. It's just how you do things, which irritates me. Not what you're saying. It's how you say it. One. But that, like, abrasiveness and, like, racist comments. 
that was I wasn't expecting that so it kind of bothered me and I just almost was like is YouTube even worth stuff like that is it worth it is it worth putting yourself out there for people to like be the hella disrespectful and then I realized like yo Shay there are people who are just miserable they do stuff like this to get attention from you which they did because now I'm talking about it and what you you can't run away from it you have to just like not embrace it but face it head on right so that's what I did but in after I calmed down so I took a little break from the tube I took a little break from social media I had to sit down and just reevaluate um what I wanted for my channel because I keep starting these other channels and not being consistent with them because to be honest sometimes I forget about me having another channel because I'm like I don't want to put everything on just my one channel because people most of you guys are here just for locks but it's just like bro like like India Re says, I am not my hair. Like, I love my hair to death. You guys know I love my hair to death. But I'm interested in other things. And I want to be able to share it. And if you guys rock with me, you'll like the content. And if you don't, you can unsubscribe and it will be okay. Like, my life is not going to end because folks unsubscribe to content that I'm putting out that they don't like. <laughs> like... I can't that's just whack so I'm not gonna do that anyway so yeah that is the reason why I was gone for however long I was gone um I just had to think like was it all worth it did it even make any sense if my channel wasn't gonna grow because I didn't have a bigger following like it's harder now for your child to grow because there's so much people out there now and it's like so much people now are almost creating like the same uh, content so yeah it's a long video I don't even think I'm gonna edit it I'm gonna put it out just like this yeah but on a lighter note um it is a month of May. It's my birthday month. And I have a plan to record every day up until my birthday. Let's see how this plan goes, but <laughs> that that is the plan. Shay's month, right? Let's see how that goes. Um, like I always tell you guys, if you guys have like any ideas of videos that you want to see from me, like I have some things that I want to do and it's not all hair, but if you guys have any hair videos or any other type of videos that you guys want for me to do in that month, because like I said, I'm aiming to do every day. That's the aim. Let's see how, how that works. But that's the aim. That's what I'm going for. Um, let your girl know, you know? Let me know. We're going to start having events where it's just a bunch of women just coming and just talking about anything. Talking about colorism, um, racism, uh sexual uh anything anything that you guys want to talk about we're gonna talk about and it's gonna we're gonna try to be like a monthly thing um also 
I was telling you guys about Afropunk. That yes, I will be there. And it's um, August 25th and 26th, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But I'll put that information down in the description box below. Because a lot of you guys have been asking, like, Oh, Shay, you're going to be there? Like, I really want to meet you. Da, da, da. Like, da, da. And that's another reason why I want to have these, um, not meet up, but, like, con conversation group things me and fee just so that um we can have these kind of conversations also that i can meet you guys and you know because you guys have been rocking with me for a minute so i mean like why not you know why not why not meet my folks um yeah man So yeah, that has what's been going on. That is my plan for the month of May. Your girl is back. I promise next time if I take a break, I let you guys know. Um, I promise also that I will just be a little bit more consistent. Cause you know it sucks when you like a YouTuber and you're looking for their videos <laughs> and then you just realize their last video was like dumb long ago you're like bro i want to watch it again even though it's hecka funny like that video with my family uh it didn't get a lot of views but the people who did watch it like actually liked it um yeah this video is hecka long and i'm not editing it i'm not Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Like, deal with it, fam. Deal with it, fam bam. Oh, what do y'all think about this whole Kanye West thing, fam? Like, we talk about it on the podcast a little bit today. But I just want to talk to y'all about it. What do y'all think about, like, do you think Homeboy is bugging? Are you still gonna like buy his music? Cause this is what I think. Like, first and foremost, he's a Gemini. Like, I stand for my Gemini's, right? But, <laughs> but if you're behind, look, sounds like you bugging. Like, nobody has time for that. And it sounds like Kanye is bugging. <laughs> he's bugging a little bit. Do you think we should still be, like, listening to his music? Do you think he's gone that far? Do you think that he should be able to, like, speak his mind and not be ridiculed for it? Or you, do you think, like, wearing that MAGA hat, Make America Great Again hat, like took it over the top like ain't nobody got time for that no more what do y'all think man because me i was like oh freedom of speech you could you could love whoever the heck you want to love even if the person is nuts you could like whoever you want to like but then it's like but why him though <laughs> Why wear it? And then, and then he wore the hat. And I'm just like, fam. Oh, no, bro. Also, um, the Khalees interview that went up. Um, I see a lot of people, like, dragging her. Saying that how... She's bored. Like she not making no money. And because he's making money. Um, that's why she coming out with all this nonsense. I'm just like. And they was like oh why only now she coming out and saying anything. Is there a time where you should talk about your abuse? Like it was like. And if you guys listen to the whole interview. Which I, this kills me with folks 
if you listen to the whole interview, she clearly stated that they fought each other. She is not just putting the blame on him. They were married. Um, she's from New York. Like, she don't play them games. Like, I'm gonna fight back. I didn't initiate the fights, but I fought back. Like, I didn't just sit there and be the victim. Like, she's like, I'm not victim. I'm not being a victim right now. Like, folks, y'all, not y'all, but y'all gotta learn to just, like, read the whole thing. Don't just look at, like, titles on, uh a newspaper or like a website like shade room like no offense to shade room because i'd be watch, i'd be i follow their they page um but don't just listen to stuff like that or listen to just like a half of the clip and just run with it So yeah guys, that is my makeup look of the day. Um, this is really my everyday lip to be on. I mean, my everyday um, makeup look. You guys know I'm the queen of natural and easy going. Um, that's what I do. I just put on like a nude lip. So my lip don't look hecka ashy. But yeah, that's it. Uh um I just wanted to keep you guys informed and up to date about what was going on with your girl. Um and yeah, um like I said, if you guys have any requests on um, videos, please leave it in the comment box below. If you stayed this long in the video, <laughs> I love you so much. You might as well just subscribe. You might as well like. You might as well share. You might as well leave comments down on what I talked about in the video and any ideas that you have. I will see you guys tomorrow because like I said, I'm trying to do every day for the month of May until my birthday, May 31st. On that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the